Hey guys, what's up? So in this video, I'm going to test the latest adjustments on Freya here at Advanced Server. If you don't know yet, her new second skill can now be spammed continuously as long as you have orbs. And it will only go on cooldown if you don't cast the skill. Because of those changes, she can be an effective jungler since she can clear camps fast. Remember, the buff from her second skill gives her maximum attack speed and shield. By making it spammable, she technically has maximum attack speed at the start of the game. And of course, the shield is great for her survivability. Watch how fast I can clear the jungle camps. And I'm not even using the talent Seasoned Hunter. Another change on Freya's second skill is it's easier to activate the airborne effect. On official server, you need to cast the skill 4 times to use the airborne CC effect. But on advanced server, it only requires 3. That means you can CC the enemy more frequently with this new version. There's a skirmish happening on middle lane. Let me just finish this buff before I help. When playing the new Freya, you'd always want a target nearby to collect orbs, otherwise your second skill will go on cooldown. In this scene, I forgot to use my second skill. And as you can see, it went on cooldown. One versus three, maybe later. So in this game, this is the build that I've used together with the Killing Spree talent. It seems the enemies are already in the turtle area. I'm gonna try to contest it. We got the turtle with no casualties. We're off to a good start. To balance the new Freya, they had to nerf her first skill. It will no longer be enhanced by her orbs, and they also removed the stun effect. And when you use the skill, no orbs will be consumed. So I guess the new combo is easier to understand. Just spam her second and basic attacks. And when you need to escape or chase, that's when you use your first skill. There's a team fight happening at top lane. Let me pay them a visit. Yep, balanced all right. So second turtle is up, but there's another fight going on at top lane. The enemies are trying hard to kill our marksman. And they succeeded. Is this a new quick chat? After taking the second turtle, I think I'll visit bottom lane for now. You're taunting me? You're taunting me? Oh crap, he was taunting me. And here we have Valier going solo in mid lane. Okay. Stand firm and hold your ground. Wait for it. And I'm just in time for the last turtle. Uh I need a little help here, guys. Okay. 
I think the developers made her too easy to use. There's almost no org management with the new Freya. You just spam her second and basic attacks, and that's it. On the old version, there's a bit of strategy since her first skill consumes orbs and her second goes on cooldown after using it. But with the new version, you get unlimited orbs and skills as long as you have a target. After resurrecting, our team is scattered all over the map. Benedetta is dead, Moskov is attacking the Lord, and Natalia is about to die. Good thing we got the Lord while they were busy. With the Lord marching at bottom, I'll try to push this other lanes. What are you doing, Ling? Too much coffee? The level 1 Lord was easily defended, but we were able to destroy a lot of their towers. Now, we're just waiting for the next Lord. Follow my lead and march onward! Natalia forced Ling to retreat, and that gives us a window of opportunity to take the Lord. But it seems they're not giving up yet. The enemies are now focused on Benedetta. Now is our chance. Thank you, Benedetta. Your sacrifice will not go in vain. And it's a wipeout. So what can you say about the new Freya? Does she deserve a nerf or is it just balanced? Share your thoughts in the comment section. That's all for this video. Stay safe and thank you for watching.